Hey everybody, we're back. This is Incinerate Man's level. Uh, didn't change anything here. We kept the background the same from revision from every previous revision to now. Um, there were a couple of changes to some of the mechanics. I don't think the enemies were changed. And then we've got some music here from Mega Man Rock and Roll subbing in. So down there, we made a little adjustment. I added the flames to the pit of insta-death just to give a little bit of more of a menacing feel and a taste of what's to come. Also to let you know, that's not a pit to go down, so you will die. The other interesting thing was the these flames are new for Mega Man Maker version 1.8 versus the old flames that were in the level. Um, they do have a couple of timing options to them, so I wasn't 100% thrilled with how they worked. Oops, took a little damage there. I'm just showing you where the key is in this level. If I cannot get hit by the dog. I don't think we added anything. The only thing that was added was I added flames to the pits. Um, again, I didn't want anyone to think that they could go down there. You, I don't know why you would think you could or should, but you know, wasn't the best idea. And then you can stay there for your safe until you get there. Does this work with the pit? It does work. So that's new. So by adding the fire there, you do not have to use rush coil to get out of here, which was the old way of doing it. I guess you could do that. The old way of doing it was that, to get out of there. But now I suppose you can do it. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or not. But you know what? It's the aesthetic of the level. You are burning up stuff, so whatever. Let's have a look and see if anything else was changed. I don't think so. I think there may have been some mild background tweaking. Obviously the flames down there they are the new variation of the flames. Basically, the difference is they are not the flames that are generated from the uh, oil. So they are constant, which makes more sense that there's no potential... I, th I think you can... F yeah, you can turn them down, but you can't turn them off with the water. So they're always going to be insta-death, which the difference is when you're using the oil to ignite them. Uh, you could turn it off and have them go back to just being oil, which is not really what I wanted. So, I've got these little things. So this is a bit of an homage to Fireman here, obviously, but it's trying to put a little bit of a spin on it just to make it a little bit more interesting. And there's something about these flames, too. I don't know if it's the animation. It just feels a bit more menacing, like the level has some movement, some progression, which is funny considering, you know, looking at the flames coming out of the generators there, but uh, I don't know. Also, a couple little changes. Um, if you if you played this game in revision 1 and 2, these flames were not there. These were added in revision 3. Um, this was to just kind of make the level a bit more difficult. I felt that this spot, it uh, needed a bit of a punch. Again, wanting to slow the player down a little bit. And another good option you can use so you don't get hit in the pit here is use Infinity Lock. Because then you can switch your weapons and make your adjustments. And then you get some cool animations from some stuff, and then you can get around some things a little easier. Yeah, again, this was something that was added in Revision 3 the fire coming down here. I toyed with the idea of having a secret pit in the room above that would lead you down into this area. Also, we fixed... This. So there was a, a... Revision 1, you had to battle... I don't actually... You didn't have to battle the dog. Revision 1 in this room, you would come down here and you had to make a slide jump or a pinpoint accurate jump. But I think after a while... I realized that if you don't have the spike driver, or if you didn't have rush jet, it was... it felt like a pixel perfect uh, slide jump to make, and some players were not making that jump, and myself was included. So we put the dog in, and we thought that was a better idea, 
just as a transition mini boss screen here. And then you can come through here. So we can do this. You can do that that way. I find the easiest way to get across is that. You can come through here, do this. Beep, 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 and do that. And that's how you get out the other side. Come across. Do it the way it was intended. Big jump. Okay, and then we got this big jump here. You know what? Better safe than sorry, since Rush will now let me jump there. It's funny, those little guys, sometimes they make that jump, and sometimes they do not down from here. They don't always make it. And then you get stuck. Oh, that's your problem, buddy. Anyway, um, yeah, so not a ton of changes from Revision 3 to 4 outside of the fire itself. The big changes in this level came from Revision 2 to 3. Uh, so that's what I guess was, uh, you know, worth mentioning, considering the last playthrough I did was Revision 1. Um, okay, we'll do that just to... We'll throw you here. Oh, we got you now. You're in that sweet spot. Oh. There you go. And we got rid of him. So again, that puts fire right out. So, um... I'm trying to remember. I... I'm trying to remember if I was trying a different mechanic or a different variation of that mechanic at some point. I don't think so. We got burnout. And that's basically it. So again, no real major changes, but, you know, some interesting stuff.